Okay? Chazor never hurt anybody. Re- review. Right? Oh, you may be Fili Shel Cheres. It's a turn back a page to get the gray line. And even. Okay? <coughs> That's it. Okay, we're ready? Oh, you may be Fili Shel Cheres. They would bring uh, a cup made of earthenware. They would take a half a pint of water that was taken from the kir, they put it into this earthenware cup. Rabbi Yudom Revius says, no, a quarter of a log. That's four ounces rather than eight ounces. Kshem just as Rabbi Yudom says that the, what you, the rid of, that's written of the sota, there's less written on it because the machlogs, how much you write on it. Review just as the ksav, what's written is less, the water is also less. According to the Tanakama, it's the, there's more water. You obliterate more into that, into that water. Nichlas lehechel, The Kohen walks into the covered sanctuary. Pono liimino. He turns to his right. Right? Umokam hoyushom. And there was a location. Shom amalama. It was an amo by an amo square. V'tavla shel shayosh, and there was a tablet made of marble. V'tabas hoisek vurbo. There was a ring attached to that tablet of marble. K'shu magbia nota lofen tachte. He lifts it up, and there was earth underneath it. He takes some of that earth. V'not sein, and he takes the amount. How much earth does he take? K'dei shiroye alamayim. He had water in the vessel, in this earthenware cup, and he would put the enough earth that it would be noticeable that the earth is floating, the sand or earth is floating on the water. Shinemar, as it says in the post, he should take the offer from the floor of the Mishkan. So what's the floor mean? Can mean the floor is covered with marble. That means he has to pick up the tablets of marble. Underneath, he takes from that, it doesn't say bimayim means it's mixed into the water, you don't see it. But it floats, it floats on the water. Tono, <coughs> we had learned in the Bryce of Fidli Shel Cheres Chadosha. The cup used has to be a brand cup that was never used for anything else. Brand new earthenware mm-hmm. cup. The Rabbi Shmoyel. My time, Rabbi Shmoyel. What, where do we know it has to be brand new? Has to be new, never used. Shinemar. Go about Kli Kli Mi Metzora. We have Gzera Shabbat. It says Kli regarding the Sota. It says Kli regarding the Metzora. Ma Lahalon Cheres Chadosha. It says the Metzora has to be a new cup. Avkan Cheres Chadosha. Also, it has to be a new cup. Ah, I've also known. How do we know by so? It has to be new, right? The chesiv v'shochad es atzibor ha'achas el kli cheres, right? You slaughter one of the birds. Take two birds. One is slaughtered, dipped, and and the other bird you dip it into the water, which has the blood in el kli cheres al mayim chayim. What's the meaning mayim chayim? Water that was drawn from a living wellspring, right? Ma mayim chayim shul nasis bum loch chayim means it was just drawn. It wasn't used for anything else. Of kli, the kli that you put that water into, shalom nasis bomloch. It was never used for anything else. Therefore, it's a brand new kli, uh, earthenware vessel. So it says kli there. Imal halo. So the more asked the question of learning from Mitzora. Imal halo ma'im chaim. Of kama im chaim. So if that's the case, it says you take water from the kior, from the laver. But it seems to be the water in the laver doesn't have to be from a, from, from a well. It can be even rainwater. No, it says no. Rabbi Shmuel, according to Rabbi Shmuel, Hochanami, according to Rabbi Shmuel. He's of the opinion, mikvah water is not good enough. You need what? You need maim chayim, you need well water. Dom Rabbi Yochan, mekir, Rabbi Shmuel, omen, maim mayim heim. The mekir, the water that was in the kior, was maim mayim. It was not maim mikvah. Chom omrim, chom omrim, mishan meim, you're saying, it doesn't have to be maim chayim, it could be maim chayim, but it could be, as long as it qualifies to be mikvah, it could be mikvah water, it doesn't have to be. Mr. says, but you could ask a question, if you're saying it's based on the Xerashova, that whatever you need by the Mitzorah, we applied to the Sota, Ikel Mifrach, you're able to refute it. Ma Mitzorah Shkei Ton Eitz Erev Ve'ezu V'Shni Tolos. You take the bird, you dip it in, what else do you have there? You have acacia wood, you have the grass, and you have a piece of crimson cloth. Good. So over here also you should have it by the Sota, right? That's, that should be included in the Gzer Shova. Omar Rovo, Omar Rabba, Omar Kro, Bikli Cheres. It says... You put it in a kli cheres. So what's the, what's the connotation? Kli, 
The Kli Cheres Amarti Loch. It's only comparable regarding the Kli Cheres. The Kli that I spoke about over there, where? By Mitzora. It has to be similar to that Kli. What kind of Kli is that? It's a new Kli. So only regard to the Kli do we compare B to A. Okay? Omar Rav Lo Shero Elo Shin Elo Shlo Nisach Muponov. The only time it qualifies, Rav says, if it wasn't Nisach Muponov, it didn't turn colors. But let's say it turned from usage. I mean, according to him, you don't need a new clique. Let's say it turned colors from usage. My, it's psulin. My timer. Do me the mayim. Ma mayim shlo nistanu. Just as the water that you use, if it sh- it's stagnant and because it what being start turns colors doesn't qualify. Avklishna shlo nistanu. Boy rovo. What about initially it was not valid. Nisachmu verzira toch kibshon eish v'nislabnu. They put it back in the kiln, and, and it was whitened. I mean, whatever was absorbed in the... It's, in the, burnt it's out. interesting. The Gemara says in Psochim, regarding Kashrin Caleb for Pesach, Pesach right. Kashrin, the Gemara says that if it's Klicheres, you cannot. Because we know an uh, earthenware vessel it absorbs, so what's the aloha? Yeah. You can't extract everything from it, right? So what do you, you can't you have to put it away. Any other material you could extract, what it was absorbed, so the says, why? So the a question, it's important, Albert. Why don't you take hot coals and fill the vessel with hot coals, which is the equivalent of putting it into kiln? It would actually vaporize anything that's in the, in the walls. So the Mara says, because if you do that, you know, there's a chance it may burst. From the intensity of the heat, it may burst. So the person's not going to leave it in long enough. So if that's the case, it's true. If you leave it in long enough, it's going to do the job. But there's a chance he may not leave because he's always concerned it may, it may burst the vessel. Mm-hmm. So says, what about if you put it back in the kiln? Once you put it in the kiln, the second it goes in there, there's no, there's no coming out. Right? Mm-hmm. It would be good enough because when you put something in the kiln, and actually it vaporizes anything absorbed. It's like a new vessel. Mm-hmm. That's why it's whitened. It's whitened afterwards for that reason. So now with Marazah Shaila, it was not, it was disqualified. It's put into the kiln, it's whitened. Mao. Do we say that since it's been disqualified, once it's invalidated, it cannot be reinstated? No, since today it's been, it qualifies because it's white, it's not dark. Maybe you could use it. We'll see in a moment. So Tosa has a question over here. Very interesting, Tosa. Tosa says, Tema Maishnov, the Kobi Boili, Hoch, Binire, Bechosi, Binire. Perk Luhav Agmoris Keshail in 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 Luhav Agos the third perk in Sukkah. Listen to the Shailor. Kumbolon Velu Ifshit. Over here the Gemara has a question like this. Uh, you had a, a hadas a myrtle, mm-hmm. Albert a myrtle, mm-hmm. and let's say the myrtle has red berries on it, mm-hmm. right? And you you pulled off the berries, so it's kosher. Before you, um, you pull it off, it's kosher. As red berries is not valid because it looks spotted. The myrtle is green. So if it's spotted, it's, it's lacking in hidur. Right? Every one of the species has to have the characteristic of hidur, has to have a certain mm-hmm. attractiveness. So if it's manumer, if it's spotted because it's green and you have red berries, so he picks the berry, plucks the berries off before him. Not a problem. What happens now because there's some, uh, something grows back on it? So what, it's, it's, it was nirea, venitre. It was nirea when you qualified. Then because now this thing grew on it, and now the berry was removed again. Do we say, just like by Kochim, what's that loch if you consecrate an animal? The animal is, is qualified to be brought. Yeah. Now, what happens if the Mizbeach now gets chipped? The Mizbeach, the mizbeach gets chipped, right? So that loch is you can't bring the korban. Because the Mizbeach has to be repaired. So when the Mizbeach is chipped, you can't bring the korban. Right? Okay. And then afterwards, they repair the Mizbeach. Mm-hmm. So that loch is its puzzle. You cannot bring the korban angle. Why? Because that's called... Nira v'nitche v'nira it's dochui. Since it was it was in a position, it could have been brought. Then it was disqualified. It cannot be reinstated any longer. Yeah. But that's by kochin. That's we're talking. That's the highest level, right? That you have to be most sensitive to that. No, no, you don't know. The carbon has to. You have to bring a new carbon. The carbon has to. The mizbech been repaired. Okay, now we'll talk about. You have to consecrate a new carbon. Bring, but the original carbon cannot be brought because it was in the position to be brought, and then it was it was knocked out of the box. Yeah. It's gone. Okay? We rule even before Shechita. But everybody agrees. If Shechita took place, they slaughtered the animal, 
and then they receive the blood, and all of a sudden they, the, the misbeh gets chipped. So you could wait. It takes an hour to repair it. Everybody agrees in that case, it's gone. You have to start all over again. You have to get a new carbon, slaughter again and again. This argument, if it's alive, so we, we will rule even Balichaim the Dochim, if it's alive. Okay, good. But that's, everybody agrees by Kochim. That's by co- something. Good. The qu- more question is, do we treat a mitzvah similar to Hegdish? Uh-huh. On that, the Gemara leaves it unresolved. Okay. The Gemara leaves it unresolved. So that's Tosa's question. Over there by mitzvah, in Sukkah, we leave it unresolved. All of a sudden, we're posing the questionnaire. Why is the questionnaire any more of a question than over there in Sukkah? It's unresolved there. It's unresolved there. Mm. So evidently, there's reason to differentiate. Maybe over here it's better. So take a look, Tosis. And what, what's the locha? The vestments of the Kohen. And they become not soiled, filthy. If the, gar- if the garb becomes filthy, and the coin officiates in that garment, it's not valid. So now, what happens if I launder the garment now? I launder it. And now, what do we say, since that vestment was, was actually disqualified, because if you do that voter, it's not valid. So if I now launder it, do I reinstate the garment? So Allah, it's not even the question. The Mardi doesn't impose the question. So why by the garment? Why don't we have the same Shiloh? It's been, dis- it was been disqualified. No, it's been reinstated. It's Tosa's question. Oh, big day kuna show you bekuroim. They were torn over tushtoshin. They were soiled seriously. Vavad avodos apsula vavid lohochim. But nevertheless, in kibes tishtush vigiul, if he laundered the the filth from from chazlatirin kedemaisi b'raisa perakam isvech makadish big to ein osin osan masamach el maisa orig nizgalu no begemar elu baol. So Marisa he's washed. So why over there do we say it can be reinstated? Tosa doesn't answer it. So we have, we have questions. Here we have a Shiloh. We don't commit to the mitzvah. By the garments, it can, we don't say it. So when do we say it? Yes, when do we say that? Tosa doesn't answer it. Leaves, it. leaves it unresolved. Unanswered. Okay? So we have the Shiloh over here. The cup, which originally was disqualified because it was d- darkened. <coughs> you put it in the kiln, it's whitened. Can you say, yeah. And then it's reinstated. Do we say yeah. that since there was a time it was disqualified, could it be reinstated? So he wants to bring a raya. Toshma. No, it has to, be, it has to, it has to appear like, it has to appear to be chodosh. Has to, even if it's not new, it has to look. But if it has that used look, everybody agrees it's no good. So here it has the new look because it was put into the kiln. But since factually it's the same cup, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not. Only regarding kashrut, it's a new bria. You can't put kohanim and just run over it. It's just a regular kohanim because I thought they had to bring a new vestment each time for the kohanim as well. No? That's only Yom Kippur. That's the service in Yom Kippur. What he did, vestments who one year he cannot wear the next year. This is the regular vestments. Any kohanim. Okay. And it's only Yom Kippur. Only Yom Kippur, Yom Kippur. Right, right. Okay. Let's see. He says, Toshma will bring a proof. Rabbi Lazar Omeh eats Erev Ezo Vishni Tolas. This is what you use by the, uh, by the Mitzorah. Right? The Kesha wood, Ezo is the grass, or the crimson cloth. Shehishpil ben Kuboso. You know what he did? Acharov. He had a box, and he used it as the rope, the crimson cloth, to hang the box. When he walks, he hangs it over his shoulder. Psulin. It's possible. Once it's been used for that, it cannot be used any longer. Why? Because when, when you use it for that, it gets all crimped. It gets crimped. I've also haji u mifshitik. After it's used, you're able to straighten it out, like iron it out. It should look like it was never used. Seven. So what do we see over there? So you see, once it's been disqualified, even though it's it's now you can bring it back. It's the versus no. There's no proof. Hosem yiklufi yiklufi. There, when you put it, you carry your box on it. From the movement. There's like this bark, or there's a, there's a, there's a, a whatever, there's some type of membrane on it. Mm-hmm. So as a result of the rubbing, it actually has been damaged. That cannot be fixed. So again, it leaves it unresolved. Unresolved. Nichlas techo pino limino. Ofano limino. It goes to the right. My time, you don't remember. Kopinu shtapone elu elu derechimin. Whenever you turn in the Beis Amigdosh, you always go to the right, never to the left. Has no relevance, you know, if you're in a you know, quandary, you come to a crossroads, you go right or left, you go to the right, because it says, even though people use this, this statement, I'm sure in Hebrew, modern Hebrew, whenever you're in doubt, always go to the right. Mm-hmm. But that's only specifically regarding the Beis HaMikdash. 
So this is this something's taking place in the base of Megiddo. It's going into the Hechel. It's going to the sanct- covered sanctuary. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Malcolm Hoyishom, Amam, Am Ton Rabbanon, Mina. It says Mina Ofer Shiyeh. It says, where do you take from the offer from the Karka Hamishkan? Listen to this. Yochli Sakmi Bachutz Yachnis. Maybe you can bring earth from outside and just use that. So the earth now is in the in the Hechel. Tamalo Bikarka Mishkan. It has to come from the ground, from the from the ground of the Mishkan. Iba Karka Mishkan Yochol Yachver Kadumas. Let's say you lift up the slab, and it's hard. And you have to take an uh, implement and you have to dig into the ground. Maybe do you dig? Right? Tamad Loma Shayyah. It has to be there. I mean, you, it's not you create it there. It's not, that means you don't dig into the ground. So what happens? You lift it up. It's hard. You don't have. So what do you do? Tam Okay, it's out. Yesham Hoveg. If there's uh, granulated sand under the, what's it called? Under the slab, you take it from there. Ain't shum, what do you do? Taint shum. You take them outside, bring that, you put it on the ground. So now you're taking that, even though it's not originally from there, but, but where are you taking it from? Okay. You're taking the, no, you're taking it from Karka Mishkan. Right. Even though the yeah. origin was from outside the Mishkan, yeah. but where is it now? It's on the floor, on the, floor. On the ground. So you're taking it Mikarka Mishkan. That's called, you're taking the off Mikarka Mishkan. And therefore it qualifies to be used as the earth that's put into this earthenware vessel with the water. Tanya, who learned another b'raiso, umina ofra asheyir. You should take from the earth asheyir. Malamei shoy misak mechutz machdis the karka mishkan. Hear this? Isi ben Yudah omer lahovi karka. Isi ben Yudah says. Second, karka mishkan mayosuk. Yeah. It's easy it, to use opinion. You just bring from the outside. You didn't even have to put it on the ground. So if you don't have to put it on the ground, so what does he do with what does he do with mikarka mishkan? Even omel havi shilo nov v'givon beisolomim. That is interesting. Now shilo is known as what? Anybody who's a little bit into uh, into archaeology and you know and in history, no. What's Shiloh? Mishkan it was Shiloh yeah. wasn't the first place. Wasn't the first place. No, there was Gilgal. When we came with Gilgal, then there was Shiloh. Then there was Nova Givon, and right now, what was Nova Givon? Shiloh was a Mishkan. Nova Givon was not a Mishkan. It's called. It was a Bama. So Rashi says, what's the difference between a Mishkan and a Bama? Mishkan means the the Aron was there. Nova Givon, there was no Aron. It was in captivity. So all you had, you had, you had the Mizbeach, uh, the Choshes, you had the copper Mizbeach, but the Oren wasn't there. If the Oren's not there, we'll see there are halachic differences. It has its status, it's called the Bama. It's a public altar, that's all it is. But Mishkan, it's not. So let's say, the question is, could you have actually, uh, could you have a situation of a Sota in Nova Givon? Mm-hmm. Okay, so we'll see. So Rashi, is very important Rashi here. So now, a Sota, she has to bring her Mintra Sota. So if you, in a, in a, in a, in a bomo, you cannot bring a private korban. You can only bring a public korban. Right? So, if that's the case, Nova Givon can't be. So, Rashi deletes Nova Givon from here. Mm. When Isabin Yudah says it comes to include Nova Givon, that you could take the, it from the earth of the Nova Givon, it's not. Because Nova Givon, how do you have a sota? Yeah. You don't have a sota unless she's able to bring her what? Mincha sota. Right. So, right? So, Rashi only, in his Gerson, his text reads Shiloh. Shiloh, right? Mm-hmm. Take a look at Rashi. Rega. The bottom Rashi and Amit Beis. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Lo tzorch l'ru. 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 In those man kavua, kiri omar bishchitas kochim, uvin megilo al beis olom, but in the beis amigdosh, we have to include the beis amigdosh. What? Why? Why was the beis amigdosh called beis olomim? Hear this. The beis amigdosh is referred to beis olomim, the house forever. So that's what Rashi says. Vega 
You would think, maybe it says in them, you should take it from the earth of the Karka HaMishkon. What, what, what about that? It's called, it's called Migdash, it's not called Mishkon. Right? Once we came to Beis Migdash, there's no such thing as Heter Bomos. You cannot build a private altar any longer. Okay? This was the last stop. After, once the Beis Migdash was built, that's the location of Shechina. Shechina doesn't exist anywhere else. Okay? So how do we know? So Tosa has a problem. Because Tosa quotes the Gemara in, in Ervin, where the Gemara says that the base of Migdosh is called Mishkon and Migdosh. It's called both. Okay? And there's a certain opinion that says even, even though the given, you could bring a, a private carbon. Okay? Isi ben Menachem. Until now we're talking about Isi ben Yehuda. Right? There's Isi ben Menachem, Omer. Eino Tzorich. You don't need the Pasuk. Tinkl. Mat betumakalo luchilak akosov. But Tuma says she's ish chamura lo koshkin. Now, here. If a person goes into the base of nature with Tuma Saguf, right? He's contaminated. You're not permitted. What's the liability? It's curries. Right? Committing adultery, the liability is death penalty. So over there, we say, regarding the paraduma, she never paraduma. It says by paraduma, right? Elokaris lo chilek. Akosabe migdosh lo mishkan. She never parashas paraduma. Shnei psukim ki es migdosh Hashem timei. Es mishkan Hashem timei. It says, if you go in with contamination of the dead in the base of migdosh, you contaminate the Migdash Hashem and you contaminate Mishkan Hashem. Okay? So, Tuma contaminating the Migdash. Compared to adultery, it's called a lesser level of contamination. Adultery, it's a much more serious level. So, if in regard to a lesser degree, the Beisam Migdash we refer to what? As Migdash and Mishkan. So, what do you need a Pasuk? You don't have to need a Pasuk to tell me that the Migdash for adultery, it's also it's both. So therefore, according to Isi ben Nachim, the Pasuk, Mikarka Mishkan is totally superfluous. Mm-hmm. Right? Isi ben Yehuda Omer, Enu Tzor, Ma betu makal, Lo chilek akosu betu masa ishis ish, Lo kamur, Lo koshkem, Ayim ke matam lo bekarka Mishkan, Shlo yovim betoch kuposo. You hear this? That what happens, you bring it in a box. Lo toch kli, V'yachvis lehechol, El mikarkos l'yito. Let's say you have a box in the hechol. Let's say you brought a box of earth outside, puts it in, now he takes it out of the box. Torah says, no, it has to be taken off the floor. Yeah. You may have brought it from somewhere else, but, but it has to be put on the floor and you've got to take it off the floor. But if you bring a box and put a box there and you take it out of the box, it's not good. That's Karka Mishkan. Iboilu. Ain't shom offer mau. Now the question is, what happens if you, have, you can't find earth, but, but you can find ash? Could you use ash? Is ash the equivalent of offer? Interesting, Shaiva. It says, by Kisi Adam. You slaughter a underbased animal bird. It says you have to cover the blood. What, what do you cover with? with? It says offer. Could you use ash? So it's, we'll find it's machlok tanoim whether you ash. So if we see that afer is interchangeable with offer, so here also maybe it's interchangeable, right? According to the opinion that you can use ash for kisa adam, it's not a question. But according to the opinion that you can, just as over there it's interchangeable with offer, maybe here it's also interchangeable. You can't find earth. You can use ash. Let's see. Let's say ibalu. Ancient of Mashi Tenefer. I'll leave it to Beis Shammai. Loti Boiloch. According to Beis Shammai, it's not a question. You definitely cannot use ash. Why? The Amri Lo Matzino Efish Kori Offer. We don't find anywhere that the Torah refers to ash as offer. Kiti Boiloch. I'll leave it to Beis Shammai. But the Shaila's question according to Beis Shammai. Why? The Amri Matzino Efish Kori Offer. We find Efer is called offer. Where do we find it? Avogav. But over here it says, you should take it from Karka Mishkan. What's Karka? That's earth. That's earth. Yeah. Just as you should cover it with earth. Right? Where do we find offers called Efer? Because Avram Avinu says, Anochi offer the Efer. Anochi, I am dust, I am ash. Right? Rega, Rashi says.
Yeah. Hochus, but Odilno, Haibekarke Mishkan, Likdisa Ben Yuda. It's not a problem. If you say it has to be taken from there, right? It has to be taken from there. So the karka means it has to have relevance to the ground. Right. But if it could be brought from there somewhere else, you bring it in, and that's enough. So you can bring, maybe you can bring Ashen. See, if it has to be identified with the ground, okay, ground is what? Ground is earth. earth See, Bakis no. doesn't say ground. It says you should cover it with offer. Doesn't say offer that's taken from the ground? It just says offer. Offer. Offer can mean Afer, can mean Ash. But over here, what says, you should take from Karka Mishkan, maybe Karka Mishkan means from, from the earth, of the ground. Yeah. Okay? Lechdisi, Hudase, Toshma, the Omer of Yochan, Mishmik, Bishmoel. Now there's Bishloshim Kobus, Halocha, Okevis, Mikro. We find Halochim Shibsinai, although the Posuk seems to say one thing, we have Halochim Shibsinai which could go, could okay. be contrary to the Posuk. What is it? Okevis means it pierces, it, 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 it penetrates, it pushes aside the Posuk. HaTorah Amra Ba'ofer. Torah says, what should you cover the blood with? Offer. V'halocha b'chol dvar Torah. B'chol. Yeah? You could use anything. B'ofer. Kisi adam v'lo hikshir. Ha-megadl tzmochim. Right? What about if you take um, tzmochim? Let's say you take um, uh, vegetation. And the vegetation goes and now decomposes. And you want to use the decomposed vegetation to cover the, the what's it called? The blood you could. Doesn't have to be. But you see, it's decomposed vegetation. You could use it. You take a, a, you take, um, lime, and you pulverize it, and you want to use that, that's good enough. Lime. Even lime, because you, you grow in lime. It's not offer, it's good enough. Okay. Hatora uh, Omra Betar. Now, when a a a, a kohen, uh, I mean a nazir, he's the Torah says tar lo yavol rosho. He's not permitted to say with, with a blade. Okay. What about he pulls the hair out? What about if he fluffs his hair? Let's say he uses a comb. Is that a razor? It's not a razor. Right. Yet it's a Torah. It's a this Torah razor. He's not permitted. Right. Bechol v'halocha bechol dover. Your violation of that love, whatever you use. Hator Omra, you want to use some kind of depilatory to remove your hair. You're in violation. Hator Omra, safer. What the Torah says, you should write a woman, write a get it, safer crease. What's a safer? A safer means a document. What about if you want to use a leaf? You want to write it on a leaf, a get. It's valid. So even though the Pasuk says safer, the Aloha says no, not only a safer, anything that you could write on. Here, so the question is, we want to bring a proof. We bring a proof that we ask the Shaila, could you use ash in place of dirt? Right? So we, it says in the Baraisa, with the three th- examples, if you go according to the literal reading, it's that and not something else. Yeah. But yet, Allah says it's not that, it's something else. Okay. So the Umar says, but if you, said, tell, if you tell me, you could even use ash. Rather than dirt for what for the for the sota, mm-hmm. why isn't that listed as the fourth? Mm-hmm. That should be the fourth. Why does it only say there are only three? Mm-hmm. Right? The Torah says by by sota offer. So we're asking: is offer specific, or does offer mean even yeah, ash, yeah. or even ash? So if that, if that would be another exception, why isn't it listed? It should say the four things. That even though the puzzle reads one way, we say it's something else. So much as ton of a shire. No, you know something. When it says three, it doesn't mean specific three. It left it out. So much says. When the Tana leaves something else out, he never leaves only one thing out. If it's many things, he's not going to look at everything. But if it's one, he, he concludes that it's one. So that means he must have left out more than one. What did he leave out besides the case of Soto? He left out the case of Mitzorah. What does he say about Mitzorah? Now, a Mitzorah, how many times does he cut off all the hair off his body? Twice. Mm-hmm. Right, when he recovers, and then he removes, then you wait a week, mm-hmm. and the second time you remove all the hair off his body. So it says, mm-hmm. You should remove all his hair, we'll see. So that's klau. That's a klau. So the Torah is being, we have a klau, then we have a prat, the Torah is being specific. The hair of his head, his beard, and his eyebrows. So that's specific. 
Prat. Then it says, Veskol Soro Yigalech. And all his hair should be removed. So what is this? A Klau, Prat, or Klau? What do we have? What do we have in principle? Chaz of a Klau, Klau, or Prat, or Klau? When your Torah speaks in a general way, and then it says, speaks something specific, then again, it closes with a general. We say, Yato Donel Kena Prat, meaning the Klau has to have a semblance of the Prat. So what is that? Ma Prat, Mfurish Mokum Kinusar. Which hair has to be removed? Where the hair, you have the accumulation of hair. Venire, and it's visible. Avkomo kinusar, venire. So my rubby, what, what does that include? Rubby, saraglaim. That means the, the pubic area. Saraglaim, you know, it says the hair of the feet. It's Belosh Mekia, Rashi says. Mm-hmm. Torah speaks, uh, the Gemara speaks, right? Saraglaim, like we, what urine, what's urine called in Hebrew? Meraglaim, yeah. comes from the penis. But it's called, the, because it's, it's a nice way to say it. Because it's located, it's situated between the legs, so we refer to urine as meraglayim. Okay, the water of the, of the legs. My meat. So what am I, in, from this cloud particle, what am I excluding? Meat, the beis hashechik. What about the hair on the underarms? So it's not noticeable, because the hand is down, you don't see it. Do you remove that? So if you go based on the cloud particle, cloud, you shouldn't have to remove that hair. You should not. Ud the gufek. And the hair in the rest of the body. But Hilsa, but what Allah Mishina is, Megaleah Kidalas, you hear this? You shave him like a gourd, smooth. Every part of his body, including the hair in the underarms, you remove. You remove everything. It's not Bolo Lahakif is a Mitzorah. When you come to, using the term Hakif, when you come to remove the hair of the Mitzorah, Mavi Tara Kob Soro, you remove all the hair on his flesh. So the first taglach, what does it say? All the hair. That includes under the arms. It's not only the hair, which is noticeable, even the hair, which is not so obvious. And it says the second removal should be like the first removal. Okay? We say when we list the halacha, which is Contrary to the Pasuk, Ho Keves Nidrabonani. By Mitzorah, that's only rabbinical. On a Torah level, you don't have to take off all the hair. That the second removal, that's that's rabbinical. It's rabbinical, it's not a Torah law. Rav Popo Omar, Kiko Choshiv, Halochu Keves Vokeres, Ho Keves Vosephesi. Hear this? Here you're doing more. <coughs> to do less, you see, the Torah says, let's our discussion. Right? We're speaking about, um, could you use ash instead of that? We're changing, the, we're changing the, the rules here. There, not only do you remove the hair, which is obvious, so you're doing more than you have to do. You understand? Okay. That's why it's not listed. Here, you're doing something contrary to what the Pesach is saying. The Pesach says use earth, and you tell me you could use, you could use a vegetation, decomposed vegetation. So he's saying, so other than the Pesach. So those are these examples. Torah says you're only in violation if you cut off here with a razor. No, any removal of hair, you're in violation. So that's contrary to what the Pesach is saying. Here the Torah says you have to you remove all the hair. It seems only the hair that is exposed. But that's not contrary. You're doing more than you have to use. Okay. You're not changing the equation. Ho, kebisim osefisi, ravashim, homas nisim money. Rabbi Shmuel, no problem. This mission is going like Rabbi Shmuel. The doors close you, Prati. Kedalas Moni Reb Kivi. Hear this. The truth is like this. The bright that we list three is what? That's going like Rabbi Shmuel. Because the case of the Mitzorah, you, remove, you shave him like, like a gourd, that Rabbi Shmuel is a question. We said, you have Klau, Prado, Klau. Right? You have a gen, gen, ter, ter speaks generally, Specific. specifically and generally. So we say that the Prat, what you do has to have a semblance of the Prat. Which, what is the semblance? Even though it says the eyebrows, the beard, right? It means any area we have an accumulation here which is noticeable, that's what has to be removed. So what does that exclude? Under the arms. You know who says that you shave them like, like a gourd? That's called Rabbi Akiva. Because Rabbi Akiva interprets that, that's called ribui miut ribui. When the Torah is all-inclusive, and then it's limitation, then it's, again, it's all-inclusive. There, it's more inclusive. It doesn't have to have a semblance of, 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 of the specific. We'll see. We have this many times. The Doris Ribi Umiut, the Tanya, Voyabi Omashvili Galeras Kosoro, Ribo. 
on the seventh day, remove all there. That means all inclusive. As Rosha Zikno Vesgabos of Mir. Right? His head, his beard, and his eyebrows. As Kosari Aleya Chose Veriba. It comes to me, again, all inclusive. When you have this kind of setup, what is the Torah communicating? Rebo Mir to Rebo. When Torah says everything included, specific, and again, Reba Kol includes everything. Everything. One second. So if it excludes everything, so what's the miut? We have to be excluding, excluding something. Or my miut miut sarshem so chachotem. Hear this. What about the hair in the nose? They have to go into the nose. See the arm. At least you pick it up. You can see it. In the nose, it's that's never seen under any circumstance. Meaning you have to go in with with something and remove even the hair within the, within the nostrils. That you don't. That's what it's excluding. Uh-huh. Every bit of hair which could be seen doesn't have to be seen, but here that's never seen, that here you leave. Because if I only have a cold sorrow, I'd say even that, that's part of the hair. Okay? My, so we have a shayla, my have a law. Could you use ash for mesota, or it has to be earth? We can resolve it. Toshma, dom rafuna barashi omarav, ain't shom offer, maybe rakvuvis, yerek, you this? Umekadish. You take uh, a decomposed vegetable and you sanctify it. Hear this? Vlohi rakfurvis yerek hu davoi. He says, so he sees, he says, Vlohi, there's no proof. Rakfurvis yerek, do have a offer. What is earth? What happens if you have a vegetable that decomposes? <coughs> That's earth. That's earth. Right? You have a leaf. What happens to a leaf? Again. Eventually, it goes back to earth. But we're here with it with something that's burnt. You burn something. Voice. It's something else. Yeah. So something decomposed, that's offer. Eiffel have you offer. So the, again, the Gemara leaves it unresolved. The Gemara doesn't answer whether you could use ash if you don't have offer. Decomposed matter which grows from the ground, that's called offer. That's called offer. Period. Something that's burnt, that's not offer. Maybe not, maybe yes. The Gemara leaves it unresolved. Okay? That's the R on them. Do you have to put it on the ground, take it off, or, or not? Or, or is just the, when it says ground, you mean just the floor of the sanctuary? No, 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 no. Th- well, that was the question we had before. Does it have to be put on the ground and taken off, off the ground? You lift it up and put it there, and then you take it off the ground? You couldn't do that. No, it's machlokas. It's machlokas tanoim. That's a machlokas tanoim. And just going back to the very simple text, the simple text, the, the, the sota was allowed to be, that practice was allowed to be done in the um, sanctuary. Only, only no, she was. She stood by the Shad Nikno. No, I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, Beta Mikdash obviously did so that um, in Shiloh, in the Mishkan, stood did so that what about the Bama? It's my close Russian Tosis. That's also right, right. Because it's seen in the plain text of the. Yeah, according the to our Mishra, text. The plain text of the Mishnah says that. It says yes. Can, and you think the plain text would But Tosis has a, to Russia has a problem. But if you don't bring a, a private korban in, in a Bama. How do you have sota without bringing? You have to bring the mitzvah sota. You have to bring the meal offering of a sota. So Tosa says it could be going. There's an opinion that says that you could bring a private offering in a in a bama. You could. So this brayso could be going according to that opinion. Why couldn't sota be the specific exception to the rule? If you couldn't bring a private offering, no. sota is very special. And no, we, we have. It has to be. It has to be based on psukim. You have to have a verse to indicate it's the exception. There's no pasuk that that's the exception. The, the plain mission itself is not added. The Bryce, it's not. So Tosis, no. There is an opinion in Zvochen that says that you could bring a private offering, even in a, in a in, a, in the in the Bama, even in the Mishkan without the uh, without without the Oro. It could be brought there. So therefore, there's no reason to delete it. So it's 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 yeah. Thank you. Now, what well, we had was Machlus. Do you bring it before she drinks or after she drinks? But it has to be brought sometime, either before or after. But if you're not able to bring the sota, then there's something uh, uh, vital components missing from the whole process. That we had an argument. Either it activates, according to one opinion, it's afterwards it activates the mayporo, the may moro. According to the other opinion, is no. It's called it's, it's called maskeris ovo, because she behaved like an animal. Therefore, the the, 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 the ingredients are animal fodder. Is not? It may not be a private. 
No, but the carbon's a private carbon. Not the mesota. You, you can't drink unless you're going to... You have to bring them in. Let's say... Let's, it is. It's, it's her personal carbon. It has to be her... her, her she has to donate it. She consecrates it. Nobody else can bring it. It's her thing. It's not a communal carbon. Doesn't make a difference. It's still her private. It's a different composition. Yeah, yeah it's, 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 it's barley rather than uh, wheat. <coughs> okay, let's go further. Tanra Bonan, excuse me. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Kadeshi Yeroy Amayim. You have to put it enough earth that you see it in the water. Right. Let's see, you just put a little dust in there. Okay. It immediately disappears. Yeah. It has to float on top of the water. Tanra Bonan, Shloshet Shrikim Shiro. The three situations you have to see the earth in the water. Not earth. Ephesota, Ephesota, when you add it to the water, you see the earth. Ephipora, you first put the water in the vessel, then you take the, the ash of the pora and you put it on top. Vroki Yivoma says that she spits in the presence of the Bezdin, in the presence of her surviving brother-in-law, right? Uh -huh. By Chalitza, it is part of Chalitza yeah. process. So visually, the Bezdin, the, the spit that she spits out of her mouth, they have to be able to see it. Yishom Yishuel Lomro, Avdam Tzipor. You this? When you did Metzora, before you start counting the second seven days, when you, it says you, you, you kill one bird and you put its neck into the water, into the Mayim Chaim, but it's Metzora, the blood has to be seen in the water. Let's see, you just have one drop and immediately it dissolves. Right? It's not good. It has to be enough blood that you see the blood in the water. My time, Rabbi Shmoel. Why do you have to see the blood in the water? Tchsev, v'tovol osom, it says, after you do that, it says you take the, the kasha right. wood, you take the hyssop, and, and you take the crimson, and you dip it, in the blood. it says, in the blood of the bird. But mm -hmm. if the, you put a minuscule amount of blood, yes. and then intermingled, you're dipping it in the water, you're not dipping it in the blood of the bird, mm -hmm. right? The tanya bedam, yocho bedam lo bemayim, said, maybe you just dip it in the blood, you don't have to dip it in water. Tamad loma bamayim. Maybe it means only in the water you dip it, you don't dip it in the blood. Mm -hmm. So how do you reconcile both? How do you reconcile? Maybe Mayim. First you bring water. See, it's water, but you see in the water, you see the blood of the bird. Mm -hmm. There's a sufficient amount of blood that the blood is noticeable in the water. The Kamo. And how much is that? Revius. A Revius. A Revius of blood. In the water. Right. Has to be minimally or obvious. You have, let's see, you have four ounces of water and you have four ounces of blood. Right? So it's, it's clear, it's diluted. Rabbanan, Rabban said, Ahul Gufe. I need it for itself, there's no proof. Dohi Kamar, Rahmana. Apil Bedamu Maim. You know what Torah is saying? You have to dip it in the blood and the water. Doesn't mean they're intermingled. One. Rabbi Shmuel, Im Kain, Lichta Brachmon of Tovo Behem. It says you should dip it in them, and then it should go quality. You know what it means in them? Bedam Uvimayim. First in blood, and then in water. Lomali, Lenikui. Right? Why does he explain Lenikui over there? What's that for, for cleansing? No, Nikui is. No, Lomali. No, one second. What's that word? Lenikur. Lenikur. Lomali the nicker, Kega. How does he explain nicker? Shwal in K Lichtab Rahmon of Tova Ben Badam Maim. So Lomali. Yeah, excuse me. Rabbi Shmael Rabbi Shmuel says it has to be noticeable. No, that's very good. So he says no, because it's Lenikr. The reason why the Torah writes Dam Maim that has to be noticeable. You should dip it in them. So they ask him, Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Shmuel, excuse me, excuse me, Ikos Rachman Vatovo Bedam, have a mina hail hood of Hail Hude, Kos Rachman Damaim, Larvon, Ubemaim, Larvon, to mix them. Means they should be mixed. Mm -hmm. I would think it's blood and water, mixed, Rabbi Shmuel, Lavum Kro Achrino. Oh, did I skip? I think I skipped. Did I skip? Second. I skipped, I skipped. Rabbi Shmuel, 
Lomali, Lomali Linikr. So what does it mean to teach me the blood has to be noticeable in the water? You know what it means? I would think you dip it in each one individually. Torah says, no, you just have to mix it. Does, do you have to visually see blood in the water? No. Even if it's diluted to a point, you don't see the blood, it's good enough. Rabbi Shmuel, Arvind Krachrino. So how do you know you have to mix it? How do you know you have to, let's say the, water, the blood is just floating on top of the water. How do you know you have to stir it? He says, Krach Rinoxif. It says, Veshochra Sibor Achas. It says, Shoshochat, Shoch Letoch Hamayim, Remurovim. Right? It's already, it says, you should slaughter it into the water. It said, from there I already learned that they're mixed. Rabbana, Hime Ahu, Hava Amino, Lishte, Somach Lamona. If I only had the first post, I'd say, you know something? You slaughter the bird next to the vessel. And you, you hold on to the, uh, what are they called? The equivalent of the, uh, the jugular vein of the, of the bird. You hold on to the vein, then you don't let the, the blood s spurt out. So you're holding your, your finger right. on, on the opening, right? And you, then you let the, the blood drip into the vessel. No, it's not good enough just to let it go into a vessel. You have to let it go, what? Into the vessel with the waters in the vessel. Boy, mine Rav Yirmiyo, Rav Zero. Now, interesting Shaiba. Let's say you have a big bird, big bird, and you have a tremendous amount of blood. Umatche asamayim, and after you add that war blood to the water, it's, it's as if it looks like undiluted blood. You have, you, let's say you have only you only need a revius mayim, and you have thirty ounces of blood coming out of this big bird. Do you understand? You know, it's, it's not even going to be noticeable. It's not going to look like diluted blood. It's going to look like blood. blood. Is it valid? Ketano v'nitches ne'ama. What about it? It's a small bird. The only bird you could locate is a small one. And a lot of water. And so therefore you don't notice it. What is it? Is it valid or not valid? Omalei lavimina loch. He says, Reb Zeres says, Reb, haven't I told you? Vosavik nafshech labar mehilcho. Right? Didn't I tell you you shouldn't, you should accept whatever is, is, is part of our misora? There's a Mesorah B'tzi B'jura Shiru, Rabbonon. Yeah? The evaluation of the bird is a Tzi B'jura. It's a certain type of bird. Rega. Kol divrei chachomim shenikvu al tarachreyen. It's Tzi B'jura. They evaluate it. Ein l'cho gedolo shemadechas is amayim. This particular bird. There's no, as big as it is, it's not, it doesn't have that blood that it's going to cause it, that you won't notice the water. And this particular species of bird, it's called Tzipa Jaror, that there's not enough blood that the blood won't be noticed. As big as the bird may be or small as the bird may be, you're going to notice it as diluted blood, di blood diluted in water. You're right, if you take a, a turkey, maybe. But we speak the birds you take is Tzipa Jaror. It's a specific type of bird. So as, as large as it may be in this species, or as small, you're going to see it as diluted blood. Okay? It says you put the earth on the water. What happens if you revert the process? Water, first earth, and you put water on. Is it valid? Higdim ofel lemayim posel. It's not valid. It's not valid. Reb Shimon Machshir. Reb Shimon says no. My time, Reb Shimon. Dechsi v'lokhu letomeg me'afas. Now this this is specific, specifically seeping by the by the paraduma because it says v'lokach mit letomeg. They take for the Knam, Mafas Rafis Hachatos. So what does it say? Velokach Lutomi, Mafas Rafis Hachatos. So you're taking from the ash and you're putting it straight into the clay. Vitanya Omri Shim, the Chiofu, who? Velo Eferu. It says in the Post, Velokach Lutomi, me Afar. So Afar, we talk about ash. Why does it refer to the ash as Ofer? Ofer, who? Velo Eferu. The reason why the Torah uses the word offer because I should be able to learn Xer Shova. Why? Never can offer. Says by Paradom offer. Never alone offer. Mal alone offer a Gabi Mayim. Afkan offer a Gabi Mayim. Just as by Soto. The offer goes on the water. Here also, the this water goes on, the earth goes on the water. One second. Omakan higdim ofel lemayim. 
so that's what you may think but it says over here the offer precedes the, the water by Poradum it says it mentions the, the, the offer before the water it's kosher so just as here it's kosher by the Poraduma by the salt it's also valid and how do we know over there that it's kosher? It's valid. It says you should put the water on it. So by Paraduma, it seems to be, you per, per, first put the ash. And it says you put the the water from the living well spring into the vessel. Alma, mine beresha. So here it says, the mine into the kli. That means it seems to be an empty kli. And the other pasuk seems to be saying, it you does. put the offer in the kli. Ketzad, Rotsa said, no, so there's no, whichever one is okay. You want to put the water first in, it's valid by Paraduma. You want to put the ash in first, it's also valid. So just as it's valid there by Sota, it you know, you have, you, you have your own prerogative. You want to put the water in first. You want to put the, 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 the earth in. Rabbonin said, but the Rabbonin disagree. They said, no, it has to be done. First water and then earth. El Kli Dafko. Olav Arvon. When it says El Kli, the water has to go specifically with nothing else in the Kli. Olav only means to say you mix it. Vehema Olav Dafko El Kli. Take use in the Kli. Okay. Stop here. Okay.